Hey everyone. Okay, so this is the first bet of the new year. This is actually a friend of mine, he's uh, just purchased this and he's oiled it. It's a Atomic 1000, which is the model down from the top of the line 1400. Superior Grade 2 Willow. You can see there more than half heartwood, a few blemishes. So this is Grade 2, but nothing really substantial in the playing area and a nice amount of grains through it. The Atomic is very much a newer style shape where so the Atomic is um, part of a new range of shapes for this year from Grey Nichols Australia and this was the Matt Renshaw bat more recently used by Sean Marsh not this particular bat obviously but what you can see here is you've got a mid what you've got here is probably a mid-low edge peak to a higher spine peak and what that does is it extends the middle down lower and also uh, gives it a better pickup for its weight because there's some mass left towards the handle and as far as uh, the dimensions go it's quite reasonable you've got here a 26 mil toe uh, 41 to 42 mil edges and that's purely because this sports a fully flat face. I'm sure as they move in the future to more rounded faces you'll see edges return to their normal 40 mil maximum. Uh, about a 14 mil shoulder uh, and the other thing that I did notice about this one which is really light um, for its size is uh, they've taken weight out by reducing the width. So you can see there 106. So that allows it to have much more volume of wood in the hitting area because they're removing it from the side. So hopefully you can hit the ball with the middle of the bat. You're not relying upon the edges. We've seen that before with SF, probably more extreme, uh, and other bats that I've re uh, reviewed are within the margins. The interesting thing here is that this is one of the Australian made ones. Um, so it's definitely something that's done by design, not, not by uh, accident. And I have seen another one that's been in this sort of range as well. It's got that new grip that I like. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, this one had a second grip on it, so it looks a little bit worn down at the bottom. It's lost its made in Australia sticker but it's definitely one of the Australian ones because it's got the, the uh, Class A Willow stamp there. Uh, the interesting thing about this one, it's got no stampings on the shoulder which I haven't actually seen before so they weren't put on but it's definitely a grey nickels and it's definitely the atomic shape. So let's uh, tap it up and I'm expecting because of that amount of heartwood and the amount of grains it's going to be fairly hard it's going to ping really well and it's also had a little bit of oiling too and that normally brings out the um, rebound in the grey nickels press so we're ready into a good hitting area there it's starting to get really strong right there it's extending up higher, it's still going high, and it's still got plenty of power right up the top of the plate here. So good for punching a, a single, but very meaty. Even though it hasn't got a very tall spine, it's only a 62mm spine. Um, so it doesn't have that 67, 70, 80 mil spines, um, probably more that the, the Warner Bats used to have and the 50 mil edge. Because of the flat face and just the sheer amount of wood you've got there through that hitting area, it's just pinging all up. The other thing I'm pretty certain of is, um, you know, the Grey Nichols Australia Bats are very well pressed. Not too soft, just a little bit harder than medium and then they come once 
you've used them for a while. So yeah, that's very good. You can actually see with this boat, it's had some knocking started. I can see some dents along the edges here. And it's got a, I think that's a bit of false growth there, where you can see two next to each other. And it actually looks like somebody's tried to hit it, because there's a split there, right in the centre of that grain. Uh, so, what does it weigh? This one, with the one grip, is coming in 2.84, I think it was 2.83 in the photo. I allowed for the fact that it um, had some oil on it, so 2.83 naked, probably 2.85 once scuffed or edge taped. So yeah, very light bat for its dimensions. Uh, and as far as pickup goes, these are a very light pickup. I would say uh, they pick up at least half an ounce better than their actual weight. So it's a really nice design. It sort of covers all the areas. Nice pickup. Lots of power, um, the rounded toe rather than a square toe, and yeah, fairly decent size shoulders. There's not too much taken out there. It's definitely not like the F-18s which had very small toes and much thinner uh, tops there. So yeah, uh, very, uh, very much like this boat. And I don't mind the uh, colour scheme of it. Obviously in the um, higher grades or the... Um, that you can purchase as in is probably look prettier. Um, but this is the style of wood that a player would probably be happy with. Lots of grains, heartwood through the centre. Uh, it doesn't really matter about what's going on on the edges there. The ball would just fly off of those and that would probably la allow it to have a little bit more strength down near the toe. So we'll turn it around and I'll bounce the balls on it and that will be the end of that review. So the Atomic 1000. So I'll start off as usual with a four piece. Nichols atomic shape in a 1000 grade 2, superior grade 2, 42 mil edges which is slightly over the gauge. I did order one, it hasn't arrived yet, so thanks very much to Australia Post. Uh, and there is a little bit of concave, probably 2 or 3 mil taken out, just to evenly distribute that weight and that's why it has such a nice pickup as well. So yeah, like this bat. So thanks very much to Stu for lending that to me. And there's more bats coming in the next few weeks that you should be interested in seeing.